my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright, so guys, um, let's start by going to Photoshop and then creating a new layer and then 100,000 pixels, sorry, 1000 pixels for the width and the height. Make sure you select pixels 72 RGB because it's just for um, social media. Uh, always distributing it on digital devices. If you want to print it, however, set it to CYMK and then 300 resolution. So this is it, and then you click on create. Nice. Okay. So, nice. so the first thing we are going to do is bring our image. This word in photo. Okay. Drag it this way. Then you pull it to the middle. Great. Okay. And then we bring our speckles or our dust or crunch or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's go duplicate it. Go shift and then drag it up. Okay. It's nicely. Alright, so Ctrl E to merge it into one. And then we go to screen. Let's see. Let's use screen. Screen is good. Screen is good. Good, 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 good. All right. Then we'll pick our brush. All right. And then use this code. Create a new layer and then make sure your opacity is at 100 okay you could reduce the size if you want to okay now all right so for that this is good okay all right this looks good and then um let's look for our Vibrant. Let's leave the saturation to zero, but then the, the vibrant. Let's boost it. Let's boost it up to around plus seventy-eight. Seventy-eight is good. Also, let's go and pick curves. Let's go and pick curves, and then just click here, and then drag it down. Nice. So we have curves and then we have vibrance over there. That's all that we need. Pick this one. Drag it in there. Okay. Uh, I forgot to put my lines. This is still very important. Very important. Very important. Okay, so pull it there, pull it here, Ctrl J, Ctrl J to duplicate it, hold shift and then pull it to the other side, zoom in to see everything clearly. Control J, drag it down, zoom in, alright, alright, so there is it. Merge it by clicking Ctrl E. Alright, so we go to our blending modes and then we choose linear light, no, linear dodge, no, linear burn. Let's choose linear burn. Awesome, 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 awesome. And then let's reduce 
the fail to So 40 is good. 40 to 41 is good. 40 to 41 is good. That's good. That's good. And then click on Shift, Control, and Alt. And then click on E. So it's going to give us this. You go here, Filter. You go to Filter Gallery. You go to Texture. You go to texturize, pick um, sandstone, set the scale to 100, the relief to 4, and then click on OK. Then reduce the opacity to um, reduce the opacity to around 30. 30 will be good. Yeah. 29 to 30 will be good. So the effect is in there. The effect is in there. Break. Let's call this BG. Nice, 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 nice. We want to start working on our team. So we would click here. Go and then pick what I wish. Mm -mm. Bring it up. Okay, so here might be good. Let's go, let's pick color white. And then also, um, let's go make sure it is Ado Adobe Garamond. Pro. I'm sure you said you have this by default set it to italics uh, also make sure the size is 52 the tracking is 0 and then it's right over here basically that's it duplicate it Same size, same settings, and everything, but we want to center it to the middle. Let's see whether it is there. It's there nicely. Center it to the middle. Then we duplicate it again and bring it down. Married. For the married. Um, still making sure that the tracking is zero, but the size we are going to boost it. We are going to boost the size to one, two, five. Hit enter. Um, and then um, that's it. Still white, right? Let's make sure it's in the middle. Let's make sure it's in the middle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But then we are going to bring our brush stroke here and then we'll increase it. Still increase it. Still increase it. All right. Pick this one. This side, then click on there, double click it, click on invert, click on OK. Delete this one now, set it to smart object, duplicate it, and then flip it to flip horizontal. Horizontal, and then you flip it vertical. Okay. Put the married on top of it. Let's see how it looks. Let's bring right down. Okay. 
This looks good. This looks good. This looks good. This looks good. Let's make sure we merge these two things. And then Hold Shift, drag the top most down a little bit. And drag it up. Alright. Alright, still drag the married. But make sure we set it well. Okay. So you double click the brush. And then we go to color overlay. You go here, you pick the color there. Make sure the color is then click OK. OK. Nice, 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 nice. Right. Double um, so you hold control click on the T of the married over here click on it then now you can hide it, it. click here click on that double click it click on invert yes now that's what we have that is good click on OK that's what we want to see duplicate it Make sure you delete this one. Duplicate it and then click the the color. Let's change the color again to okay. That's awesome. And so there are two colors. One is this and one is this. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. We are going to what we are going to do is simple. We're going to put this here. All right, that's good. And then we are going to pick this from here to here and then drag it that way. Awesome, 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 awesome. Make sure you click here, click on your brush, and then just clean that side. Come beneath it, create a layer, pick this polygonal lasso tool, click here, drag here. Click there. All right. Click here. Make sure you select white over there. So here's white. Click there. All right. Reduce the color or the opacity of this. This. Reduce the opacity. Reduce the opacity to around twenty-eight. Reduce the opacity to around twenty-eight. Give it a mask. Reduce the size here, and just. Clean it that way. Clean it that way. All right. Then let's see whether we can push the opacity a little bit up to 33. 33. 33 looks good to me. All right. So we are done with. We can delete the or we can leave it like that. Also. Come click here. Mm -hmm. Funnel. We are still using Adobe Garamond Pro. We are still using italics. But then we are going to decrease the size to 21. And then make sure the tracking is zero. 
is also white we want it to also be white as well and then we center it let's zoom in to see the details okay so double click here go to stroke stroke is one make sure you set here to outside here is black and then you click on ok all right i think we should give it one more thing let's give it click on effect here let's give it one more let's go to drop shadow and then um 86 percent distance is two percent spread is one size is 35 i think this is good i think this is good okay so let's call this theme Let's call this theme. Let's call this theme. Oh, I still think the merit should come down a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's no conflict between it and then the white text on top of it okay okay this is great so we're going to create our details and uh, let's pick Monday click here so we are going to use Franklin Franklin Gothic medium I'll leave the links in the description for you as also italics and then let's set the size to 33 size to 33 the tracking is zero and then uh, let's make sure it is white as well okay It. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now with this, let's set the size to one five. One five and then okay all right we'll come, come here pick this select rounded rectangle to make sure the radius is 25 and then just draw just draw the center it connect come down duplicate it in the small to small letters however we are going to change the font name we are going to use Franklin Demi and then the size is 27 make sure the tracking is zero and then the color is also black as well so let's center it Size a little bit. All right. All right. 
see. And it looks good, looks good, looks good. Let's set this up a little bit. Looks good. Alright, so let's bring our... Let's zoom in, pick our magic wand, click the white area, click the white area here, click the white area here, click the white area here, and then click on, click on invert, click here, click on here, so you click on your mask and you come and click on invert over here, drag that one up. Okay, double click it, go to color overlay, and then we choose this color. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. nice. Let's pick it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> where we are going okay L I V E let's choose let's choose impact this time let's increase it increase it impact um, it's regular here. Also, make sure the size is uh, let's let's give it 57. Let's give it 57. It didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> 5.7. More bigger. Mm -hmm. And then the tracking is zero. But the color, let's change the color. Let's choose this color. That color. Let's duplicate it and then uh, Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. Mm -hmm. Let's reduce the size to one line. Instagram up a little bit. Alright, so click here, click here, click here. Control T. Click on skew. Oh, that way is good. That way is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Ah, I can see some things around it. <laughs> Okay, let's go back here. Um, brush, cut this off. So let's choose a hard brush. And then clean that side. Also clean that side. Convert to smart object. Alright. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how you design this flyer. It's simple, it's classy, you get the message across. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and don't forget to comment below as well. I'm going to leave all the resources that you need to design this. Please subscribe, I really need you to subscribe for me. I love you all, peace out.